Okay, here we are with another black and white photography vlog cast. And today what I wanted to do was to take a look at three uh, DSLR film scanners. In other words, the where you slip the film in and uh, you, you know, you scan it with your DSLR. So I've worked with the three that I've seen on YouTube the most. One is the, um, uh, it's a sort of a standalone lamography. Uh, I think that's the correct pr pronunciation. I've got the 120 scanner. Uh, the other is the essential film holder. Uh, it's from the UK, cost about 124 bucks US. Uh, I just got that one in and used it for a few scans, and I'm, in other words, a few rolls of film. And then after that, uh, I've got the um, negative supply scanner. Um, as you will see, I really prefer the negative supply scanner uh, for some very obvious reasons. So why don't you come along with me to my kitchen table and we will take a look at these different types of uh, scanning film. I thought I'd give you a brief overview of my thoughts on these uh, three digital scanners. I've got here the, uh, I hope I pronounce this name right, the uh, Lomo or Lomography, uh, something like that. Uh, this is the 120 film scanning mask. Um, I've used this one. Uh, this is a fairly new one. This is one from a company called Essential Film Holders out of the UK. Um, I just got this because I thought I would use it here in our, uh, in our uh, summer home. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, as is this one here. This one I think is about 45 or 50 bucks. Check the price. Don't uh, uh, this one is about 124 bucks. Uh, that's UK pricing. It's shipped from the UK. I've got the uh, six by seven um, insert in there, and uh, then this is the negative supply. Uh, I got this about two about a month ago, and I've used. I've actually used all three. And let me give you my opinion. Uh, this is not a bad scanner. I mean, the good thing about this is when you open it up, put your film in here and so forth, and you close it, and this really holds your film extremely flat. The problem with the uh, this uh, Lomographer or Lomography, Lomography, something like that. Um, the problem with this one is you can only do one negative at a time. So it's a very slow process. There's a lot of handling of the negative because you've got to take this out, move your negative and so forth and so on. Um, does a good job. Uh, I've scanned negatives with it. They, they're very flat. This holds it down extremely well, except it's extremely slow. So if you've got some place to go or you've got a lot of uh, negatives to scan, this is going to take you some time. Now, with this one, the uh, essential film holder, um, you slide the film in here, and then you you line it up here, and you you slide it into this thing, and uh, you just roll the you, no, you don't roll the film, you just push the film through. This is not bad. Um, it's pretty fast once you get the film in there. Like a lot of them, it does not do a great job with film strips. And this one in particular is a little bit worse, in my opinion, on film strips, is because when you get the strip in here, you've got to get it in this particular part here. And if the film's a little bit bent or something like that, it's, it's, you might have a difficult time getting in. And I've had some issues scanning because what you see here is there is no plate pushing down on the the negative um, and when I looked at the negatives this way you know from an angle it looked to me like they just weren't completely flat and my scans appeared to be not quite as good so um, for 124 bucks um, <coughs> excuse me not a bad um, not a bad scanner, but it really doesn't get the negatives as um, 
flat as I think they should be. <coughs> the other one I've got here is the uh, negative supply scanner. And, you know, it, you've seen the demonstrations on TV. I've got the 6x7 in here now. And uh, what you uh, do is you put the film in on this end. There's a fairly good size slot roll it through, get it to this side, and there's a fairly, it, it really, because of these rails here, it really follows into the slot. Um, for roll film, I would think you could, they talk about, uh, oh, I think they talk about five minutes. I would say if you're doing six by sevens and it, you got the eight on a strip, you probably could do it in about two or three minutes. It's extremely fast. It has a little bit of the same problem with strips because if you've got just two strips here, um, you're going to have a little bit of a problem. Although this one does catch better, far better than this one. And the other really great thing is when you put the, this, uh, this pressure plate down, it, it holds that negative flat. I've never had a bad scan with this particular uh, with this particular unit. Quite frankly, if it were me, and it is me, or if I were you, you this, is not a, this is not a bad alternative, a slope, okay? This uh, central film holder, I'm a little bit suspicious of, but as far as I'm concerned, the negative supply film holder is really, is really the way you want to go. Yeah, it's more expensive, but the way this thing is built, this will last you a lifetime. It will never break. Um, and I think it does a better job of holding the film flat. And I also think it does a better job of um, uh, doing the strips. It's a little bit, e excuse me, do, yeah, doing the strips three or four. I, it just, it just a, it's a better alternative. Anyway, just some of my thoughts on these. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Yeah.